Maybelline Sturvident had biopsies before, but this time she was called into the doctor's office when her test results came back. The doctor just walked up to me and he says, I'm just gonna be blunt with you. I'm just gonna tell you, you have cancer and it's malignant. And he said, I'm gonna send you over to an oncologist and then you'll have to go to surgery. How in the world did this turn into cancer? Maybelline's aggressive stage three malignancy required chemotherapy, radiation, a mastectomy, and reconstructive surgery. Her pain grew into anguish. I was dealing with the fact that it, it may come back again, or what, am I, what did I do? Am I being punished for something that I don't even know what I did? It was a bit of torment, not knowing what I had done or what could have caused this. As a pastor and bishop, Maybelline faced the unanswered questions together with her congregation. I never stopped ministering. I never stopped coming to church. I attended even when I wasn't preaching, unless it was, you know, too bad that I couldn't get there. I figure if the Lord is doing this with me, it wasn't death. It was just a season of trial. The enduring trial of uncertainty and silence lasted nearly a year. Watching television and the preachers preaching and hearing about God's healing and deliverance. And uh, for me, it was waiting when are you gonna answer me about this? What caused this? Am I cursed? And I got nothing. Until April 19th, 2016, while in pain and watching TV. I saw Gordon Robinson that night. Uh, God knows how to use people to get his word to us. You've got cancer and God wants to assure you right now, he's able to heal you. You've been trying to figure it out. You're looking, what did I do wrong? You're looking as if some kind of curse has come on me. All of that was me. He had exact words that, that I had put before the Lord, and I knew that was God. God just wants to, to wipe all of that away, and he wants to deliver you from this cancer and heal you completely. You're in pain right now. The sign for you is this pain is going to leave you immediately. The pain just left. I was able to turn over and sleep something I hadn't been able to do since the surgery. Peace. I just cried because he heard me. Maybelline's pain is still gone. They asked me, did I need any more medication for my pain? And I, nope, I don't, I don't need any. They assumed that I would need some. He just healed my hope. It was restored to know that God, as big as he is, looked down upon me and said, I got you and because of Jesus, my soul as well. Therefore, my body can be completely healed. I can wait for him no matter what comes. I'm content and I can wait.